Teacher shortages across the country have been a big topic in recent months, but perhaps no position was more widely publicized as being vacant than the AP and Honors Physics position at Green Hill High School. You know, Twitter, uh -oh. <laughs> news, yeah. news sources, all kinds of attention on that position. When it comes to physics overall, well, the class can be challenging, but filling that particular position, even in non-teacher shortage years, can also be hard. Physics is a difficult position to fill in a, in a normal year, you know, where we're not looking at teacher staffing crises and things like that. Um, so I've always kind of struggled to find people to interview and, and really talk to about that position. This all started back in mid-July. That's when Principal Kevin Dawson knew that the likelihood of filling the physics teaching position and on time for the new school year looked grim at best. Yeah, I felt like there was a 0% chance. I mean, we've gone two months with nothing. A few days later, he sent a message to families indicating that honors in AP physics with a traditional classroom teacher at Green Hill was off the table and some alternatives were provided so that families could make a decision on what to do. It was just kind of being proactive and saying, we're not going to have it, so let's take advantage of the time that we have to, to pick good options for your student. Yeah. After Mr. Dawson's message was sent, a supportive and proactive parent posted her disappointment about the situation on Twitter. And like a Green Hill Hawk, well, it took off fast and gained tons of social media traction. And that caught the full attention of local media. We begin tonight with crisis in the classroom and the search for answers. A Wilson County High School won't be teaching physics this year. They Green Hill High School will not teach physics classes because of a staffing shortage. So after all of that, well, we've reached the part of the story that experienced a very sharp and unexpected turn from over 2,000 miles away. California. His name is Ed Cunningham, and he's just arrived from California. And if you told him two months ago he'd be teaching physics at Green Hill, well, that was not on his or his wife's radar. But moving to Middle Tennessee from Orange County, California was. Years ago when I worked for a major construction company uh, that built the Nashville Convention Center, I spent a lot of time out here uh, with the uh, with, uh, staff and I just thought this was a wonderful area. The people were kind and nice, friendly. He taught and coached volleyball for several years in California. He then took a break from the classroom and enjoyed an accomplished career in the field of human resources. But now he's back in the classroom and here's how it all happened. You get here your first night uh, at, uh, at the Residence Inn in uh -huh. Franklin, so what happened? But we, uh, my wife wakes up to watch the morning news, and I, I may have been Channel 4, and uh, the lead story was a teacher shortage, specifically they need a physics teacher at Green Hill High School. And uh, my wife wakes me up and said, Ed, Ed, they need a physics teacher at the school. You should call them. I said, I said, I'm sure they've got some other folks, and, uh, they, and they, she said, no, give them a call. Called the receptionist at Green Hill High School. I said, I'm... Yeah. I understand you're looking for a physics teacher, and uh, I, I used to teach physics in California for 10, 15 years. Just like riding a bike, Mr. Cunningham is picked up right where he left off when teaching physics, and his transition so far has been seamless. That's why when we, do, when we launch spaceships, we say T-minus 10, 9, 8, countdown to zero. When he looks back, he admits that it all happened very fast, but he's excited to be here and we're glad to have him as well as every other new teacher to our district. I had no, in, I had no intention of going back into teaching, um, although um, you know, my wife knows that it's where I had my uh, best times professionally and she knows that um, a lot of my, many of my former students keep in very close touch with me. I'm the one who's always invited back to the reunions. And uh, a number of them have reached out to me and said they're very excited to hear that I'm back in the classroom, as I said, where I belong. So um, uh, it's, 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 it was an unexpected but fortuitous turn of events. As a principal, you have to be very, very pleased on what he's bringing to the table. Yeah, for sure. Not only to be able to fill the position, have the students offer that course, but to have it at a high level is such a huge deal. It's fair to say that without the added help of social media and local news, physics at Green Hill may still be vacant. Who knows? But we do send this reminder to anyone out there who may be like Mr. Cunningham. 
If you're new to the area and have teaching experience and are interested in getting back in the classroom, then we'd love to take your call. Mr. Cunningham's was circumstantially unexpected, but very welcomed. Have you guys started to get the understanding towards the beginning of it? Or towards the end of it? Yeah. Okay. I'm Bart Barker with Wilson County Schools. It's important.